Pokemon Go is no stranger to making mistakes. Whether it's forgetting to turn on a shiny during its debut, or possibly turning off the shiny shadows for a whole week, or even forgetting that Australia kind of exists, it's definitely been a bit of a bumpy road. But even though there's been some pretty bad mistakes, there's also been some pretty amazing mistakes that they've made that have really benefited players. So with that being said, let's dive into some of the best mistakes Pokemon Go has ever made. Number one. The first mistake that we're gonna cover is a relatively recent mistake, but a really cool one at that. You see, it happened during the sixth anniversary event, and when some trainers had their games loaded in, when that event went live, they noticed a lot of Party Hat Charizard shadows on their nearby. And the reason why they were seeing so many of them was because they were nesting. Yeah, Party Hat Charizard was actually in nests for a limited time. They were very quick to get rid of this, but I really hope that a lot of people took advantage of those nests because Charizard has a decently high shiny rate on it and imagine being able to go to that nest and getting a shiny shadow Charizard in the wild almost immediately as the event went live. That would have been so cool to be able to take advantage of. Unfortunately, I wasn't around any of those nests, but for those of you who were, congrats, because that is probably something that's not going to happen again. Or possibly it will again and definitely look at your nearbys just in case. Number two. The second mistake we're going to cover involves Mewtwo. You see, Mewtwo is a very useful Pokemon in Pokemon Go. In fact, some would say probably one of the most useful Pokemon that we have. And it has access to many really good moves, like its exclusive move, Psy Strike. Very good move. But it also has access to Shadow Ball. But this move is not something you can normally TM into. You have to use an Elite Charge TM, or during some events, it comes with Shadow Ball. But normally, you can't use a normal Charge TM to give it Shadow Ball. But for a limited 15-minute win, when Mewtwo was removed from raids, it actually had the ability to TM Shadow Ball on it. Some trainers took advantage of this. Unfortunately, it was patched very quickly, so many people missed out. And always keep your eyes open on Twitter or any other social media for when things like that drop, because you only have a limited time to take advantage of something like that. Number three. Our third mistake we're gonna cover is actually a really fun one we were able to take advantage of for quite a while before they patched it out, and it involved Team Go Rocket grunts. You see, during specific events, there would be tasks that would have you defeat a certain number of Team Go Rocket grunts, whether you had to do three or five, it was for Galarian Farfetch, and I believe it was also for Rufflet at some point. But anyways, all you had to do was defeat rockets. But during these events, rocket grunts were not boosted by any means, so finding these rockets and completing these tasks would take a long time. Except it didn't actually take that long at all, because all you had to do was have them beat you. You would go into this Rocket Grunt with 10 CP Pokemon, and they would defeat you, and it would still count as a victory for you for some reason for the task, and you were able to use one Grunt to basically get five wins off of it. And again, sadly, it's patched out now, but during that time, it was actually really great, because it saved us a lot of time. Number four. Mistake number four is a mistake that was so broken that Pokemon Go literally took down trading for a little while to patch it out. Back during the in-person Philadelphia Safari Zone, somebody made a lucky trade with one of their friends and realized that they were still lucky friends afterwards, which is something that can happen. It's very rare, but it can happen. So they did another lucky trade and realized that they were still lucky and then proceeded to do max trades for the day and every single one of their trades were lucky. It was insanely busted. So busted, in fact, that when I learned about it, I attempted to do it myself, but Niantic immediately shut down trading during that time. But imagine being able to do max trades for a day and every single one of them being a lucky trade. That is so busted. Number five. Mistake number five also involves trades, and it's a really cool mistake. Currently in Pokemon Go, you can only trade two mythical Pokemon, those being Meltan and Melmetal. But, for very rare limited times, the game decides to allow you to trade things like Darkrai and Deoxys, and some people have lucky Deoxyses because of that. And this is one of the rarest things in the game right now, because again, you can't normally do things like this. Normally, when you get a bad Deoxys or a bad Darkrai or whatever, you have to trash it because you can't trade them. This is an insanely rare thing to have, so if you ever see anything on social media saying that this is a possibility, try it out, because you might not be able to within a couple minutes after reading it. Number six. Mistake number six took place during the 2019 in-person GoFest in Chicago, and it was really interesting, because during the first day, for the first couple of hours, 
trainers were encountering Shiny Abra and Shiny Clefairy in the wild. Now, during this time, Shiny Abra and Clefairy were not yet released, though Clefairy kind of was released because Shiny Cleffa could be hatched and then you could evolve it, but you couldn't normally run into a Shiny Clefairy in the wild, and Abra had not been released yet at all. So these two were mistakes that were patched out within a couple hours of the news being spread around. So until the community day for Abra came out, only like a handful of people had Shiny Abra in their collection, and it was one of the rarest Shinies that you could possibly have because they took it out of the game. The only ones that were available were the ones that were caught during that time. Number seven. Mistake number seven is a mistake that I wish was just part of the game normally. It happened back in September of 2021, and it's just so cool. The Team Go Rocket grunts, for some reason, were handing out shiny shadow Pokemon, which is not something they normally can do, and they currently cannot do it of this recording. But during that limited time, we were seeing things like shiny shadow Skaroopy, shiny shadow Swinub, and shiny shadow Snubble. All of them amazing shiny shadows, and I just really hope they come to the game soon, because I am so jealous of the people that have those. Number eight. Our eighth mistake is a mistake that's been in the game for a very long time, and I don't even know if it would really be considered a mistake, but it is kind of considered a glitch with a lot of people, and that is being able to turn a shiny Pokemon into a different shiny Pokemon during specific times. People first found out about this glitch during spotlight hours, where they would find a shiny Pokemon before the spotlight hour would start, and then they would wait until the spotlight hour began, and as long as that Pokemon didn't despawn before the spotlight hour began, it would turn into a shiny form of the spotlight hour Pokemon, as long as the spotlight hour Pokemon was shiny eligible. And this is a glitch that you can also replicate during Safari Zones or during Go Fests. During the first two minutes of every hour of these events, a certain Pokemon starts flooding everywhere. During the Sevilla Safari zone, core fishes were everywhere, and during GoFest, unknowns were everywhere. And I was able to turn a shiny Lediba into a shiny unknown T, and also was able to turn a shiny Charmander into a shiny Snorlax with the cowboy hat. So I was able to take two shiny Pokemon that were basically kind of whatever to a lot of people into some of the rarest shinies in the game currently. But there is something to note here that you cannot replicate this trick with a Pokemon that has come off of a lore or a Pokemon that's come off of your incense. It specifically just has to be a wild spawn, otherwise it won't change. But if you are going to the Seattle Go Fest or the Sapporo Go Fest, you can replicate this trick during the unknown hours and you can get some of the rare shinies in the game this way. So if you're going to those events, definitely take advantage of this. And that's all the mistakes I have for you in this video, but I'm sure I might have missed a ton of them. And if there's one of them that you thought was really good that I should know about, please let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know in the comments down below how you like this style of video. To be honest with you, I really enjoy researching these and putting them together, but I'd like to know what you guys think. So please also let me know how you feel about them in the comments down below. And also don't forget to smash that like button for me, show me some love, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell icon so you know when I upload. Links for Patreon and my merch are also in the description box below, but with that being said, this is the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.